I just got my latest YouTube check and you won't believe how much it was. Oh, it pays to be a YouTuber, baby! Ah! But more importantly is who's on this dollar bill? His name is Benjamin Franklin. And without him, some speculate a lot of things. A lot of people, people like to talk. Oh yeah. You like that, Ben? You like that? You like that? His name is Benjamin Franklin. And that right there is the Liberty Bell. If we turn to the back, we can see one of the first capitals of the United States in Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, to be exact. That is Independence Hall. And it is said that without Benjamin Franklin's help, we might not have won the American Revolution. It is only fair that he gets the spot on one of the biggest bills we have to offer. At least I think he deserves it. A lot of people on these bills don't even deserve the right. And to think it's all possible to, to one man who sits on the back of this here bill. Interestingly enough, a bill we don't even use. Do you have any bills that you don't use? This is basically like a novelty bill. The only place you can really get it is at the post office. And here is a display of the Declaration of Independence. Our freedom from Old Zealand. You can see I'm sitting right here. That's Thomas Jefferson. Works for the post office, but you think he knows the elusive history? Which one do you think's older, that truck or this building? of a post office for which Benjamin Franklin was the first postmaster general. They're practically useless to me. So useless. The libraries are even getting rid of them. Crazy to think that at one time, at one point in time, these used to be a luxury item. If you had a bookshelf filled with books, you had the status in the world. It's like the BMW of today, you know? Ben Franklin basically crowdsourced the first library. He got everyone together and he said, hey, wouldn't it be great if we could read books too? Us common folk could read books. You know, he pulled everybody's resources together and they all bought a bunch of books that everyone could borrow. Libraries, just like this one right here, the support service free library, always free. Benjamin Franklin didn't want to charge people to learn anything, though he would charge if you lost the book. Au revoir. <laughs> Not necessarily shoes, but I, I suppose you could strap them to, to the bottom of your feet and they'll work, so. Wonder if he ever wondered how fast he was going. Well, he created that too, in order to find the shortest way from point A to point D, B, any, any destination while delivering mail. The tachometer, on the other hand, not sure. Because they didn't have gas, only horses. And, uh, you, you know, that's one horsepower. I don't think they, they had much tack. He just had uh, whatever the horse was feeling that day. Hey, if your library experience got too lit, because it could, because we're talking about lamps and fire, which you don't need to use if the sun's still up. Daylight savings time. He also came up with that. Putting more time in the summer to stay up and enjoy the summer light outside with all the fire going on. You need to play the piazza. You're going to need a way to put it out. Volunteer firefighting was born right there. It's a perfect example. If you ever had a fire, him and a couple of guys just went around putting out fires. I mean, do you ever meet a guy that just makes you feel like you're lazy? Like, how many things did this guy do, honestly? That's a nice colored house. The lamps were not the only things that could make could, 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 Lightning. Lightning was a big problem. People had thought up to this point, if you were a bad person and God didn't like you, he's going to strike your house down with lightning. He found out that static electricity was the same rubbing your feet on the carpet as it was in the sky by doing his experiment that some people think is fake by putting a kite out and putting the key on the end when it's lightning out, strikes the kite. With his new findings, he created the lightning rod, which saved many a house, including churches like this one right here. Without this, who knows if Marty would have ever made it back to 1985. This made him famous in France, saying himself, I'm, I'm more famous than the man on the moon, 
and with his clout he went over to France and got them to fight in the independence war revolutionary war without this one guy right here we're talking like blood butterfly effect times a million without this one guy we probably would still be residents of old zealand and who wants that and so that flag flaps over there but not over here for some reason tell us about your money money's interesting or your paperless society i've got a phone now that i can just tap at terminals i don't need i don't even need to show a card lots of american flags out some flapping some not but it's because of one man. Crazy that one person could have such an impact in the world. So if you don't think that your life is meaningful to somebody, this is just that idea wrapped up into a challenge. If you don't think that one person can impact an entire world, you got another thing coming. And this is back then when they didn't even have like books. So imagine what we could do with social media and the internet. Even if you touch one person, that, I mean, come on, right? And I'm touching like 800 people now because I got 800 subscribers now, which is crazy. You know, only a couple of months ago, I had 500. And only a couple of months before that, I had 300. So it's going pretty fast. I hope you guys are enjoying. You know, tell me what you, you, you know, you want to see, what you enjoy, what you don't like. I'll try and cater while trying to do new stuff at the same time, but trying to keep it fresh keep it interesting dog for views and rust for views that's nice yeah peace in the streets what up wear sunglasses and chill out all right peace